my goodness, look what I just found. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in Mooresville, Indiana and I'm at Treasures. It is an indoor flea market and times before they've got hundreds of items, new items daily. Something for everyone. Open seven days a week. They have a delivery service. And it's great. I mean, it's just a fun indoor flea market. Let's see what we can find. Right off the bat, we've got, ooh, some Fenton. Well, I like this emerald green one. $14.95. This got some Avon. Oh, these are antique, though. It's a cute little base. It is. These look, oh, the Jeffrey's here, by the way, too. <laughs> these look really cute with um, little bottle brush trees in them. Yeah, those are souvenir pieces. Yeah, 1904. Yeah. Mother. You can just ignore no, the Avon. Cape yeah, we don't do it. we don't do that. Mother 1904, but there's no prices on them. I like this there's a little cobalt. Mm -hmm. Fenton, that's Fenton, right? Uh huh. This is a little Boyd glass, a little peacock. I've sold this one before. Oh my gosh, I just sold these one just like it on a whatnot sale. Um, I can't remember that it has a name, and I can't remember. Yeah, it's forty. Does that say forty-three dollars? What does that say? No, it's eight dollars. So I am gonna get this. I sold, I just sold a couple more and I did pretty well with them. This is seven dollars. And then this one I think is a little bit more modern, but it still has this really pretty cobalt blue. And it is seven dollars. I I did pretty well in a whatnot sale with them, so I think I'm gonna I might get all three of them and try them again. This table is five dollars and under. I've got some. I don't really like the yellow. Let's see, five dollars and under. I do like this green bottle. It is for you. It says, "Gosh, what does that say?" Fred William F forbid say no federal something of avoid say. I don't know. It's a cool green bottle. I don't know. I can't read what it says because my eyesight is not what it used to be. Oh, here's a little kaleidoscope toy. I remember those. So it says this is a $5 and under. Oh, look, Jeffrey, all the I Love Lucy's DVDs. $5 and under. Here there are like, you know, this is like newer things and a combination of new and old. This is kind of neat because it's got like the little penguins and there's Scooby-Doo. Oh, here's a little golden books. Let's see. Oh, there's all kinds of little penguins. This is Tootle. It does have the barcode on it, so it is after the 19, 1971. Little penguins. Boop. Oh, this is 50% off. Have fun at my expense. 50% off. So it does, when you see those signs, it does make you look at things a little bit closer. There's some vintage Tupperware down there. I don't really do that, but let's see. 50% off. Is anything calling our names? At 50% off. It's a little lacquer. Box is pretty. It has some damage, though. A little leather purse. Let me go around here this other way. This little vintage leather purse. Little hand-tooled purse. So it would be $6. It looks like it's in pretty good con Well, no. It's not in that great of condition when you open it up. The Nancy Drew. The Hardy Boys. All right, well, lots of penguins, though. Okay, well, we didn't see anything in the 50% off booth. This is 25% off. This says, uh, take a toothpick fresh and clean to get around and in between. Ew. I really like this. This is a little piece of advertisement for wholesome bread. Prevents your 4th of July rabbit. It's never been cut out. It's $4. I don't know. I like that. I like that. It's a 4th of July bunny. A little bread. I love advertisement pieces. So I really like that. I am going to get that. I don't know if I can get into this case or if it's locked. It's 25% off in this booth. But I'm seeing right here this thumbprint. So it's two-piece set. Oh, so it's it would be $20. But it's got this little hop star design on it. Mm, I don't think I want to... I don't want no well it's not 50% off it's still it's only 20% off here's a little vase or a pitcher a little capo de monte but it's 
broke. Okay. We're going to keep looking. I think Jeffrey just filmed this in his video, which by the way, go over to Real Nifty Vintage and watch this video. But I do, I like buying these. I think it's just like the former teacher in me. They just, I don't know, they just, they're just cool. They're, they make great displays and I, I've done pretty well with them. So it's $2.50. This booth is not running a sale. Look at that, Mr. Fancy Pants. No waste. So, oh, look, I, I like, I love this hair pomade. It's $3.50. Helps make hair look straighter. I just love, I love advertising. Pocahontas cards. Now, this is a cute little EAPG little drum with the eagle on it. It's $8.00. And this is cute, too. Look at this little bear. So this is Galaxy. This is sort of like the Spaceman bottles. Um, black cherry syrup. It's twelve fifty. It's a little... I, I don't know. You think that's a pig or a bear? A bear. Or, hmm, actually, I don't know. But it is just like the space... Yeah. Like. True fruit flavored. Um, I don't know. I'm going to... I'm not, I bet it's a pig, so it's like a piggy bank. I'm going to look this up and see. Okay, Jeffrey just found this. I think I might get it. It's just another piece of advertisement with these great graphics on it. Ray X. I thought I said Ray Sex, but it's uh -huh. Ray X. Night glasses. They're good housekeeping is guaranteed by good housekeeping. Made to specification of National Bureau of Standards. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the glasses are in there. It's $3, but I don't I think it's pretty cool. What's that? It's seven dollars oh, fifty. Yeah, it's cute. With the hair. But it's paint. The original paint's in there too. Oh my gosh, I like it's that. It's really unique. I'm gonna get it. I just it's an educational necessity for home and you school. You do better with this than I do. I just so. I love it. I love this. I'm kind of like conflicted on this little pomade because look at look at how smart he looks. You can look well groomed with this pomade. It's three fifty. I'm gonna get it. But I am gonna look up this galaxy little bank here there's a little gay monts always the best dr gay monts four dollars for that there's mercury in that jug mercury ear syringe no i don't think i want the ear syringe okay look at first of all look at this baby on that car what is going on here that baby's just like, I'm naked. You can't leave. That's so weird. So we've got the little the little baby on the car. We've got the basket in the wheelbarrow. Let me show this to Jeffrey. Jeffrey, do you see this? Look at that little baby. Whee! On the car. Don't, not going to get that, but it's just different. Just thought, thought you guys would like to see it. This baby here has got, I don't know what he's got. He's got something in his hand there. But, oh, I wanted to show you guys. Oh. I am going to get this little, I just like these, and I like that it has the pots, and it's $3.50. I like it. I like the colors. This is interesting. It's sealed, so I can't get the box open, but it's Marlin Electric Quiz Kit. So you can electrify your children. Oh, Teaches little ones by sight. Tiny tots can tell times. It pays to be smart. Quickly educates with, does it quickly educate you because it shocks you? <laughs> It says it works, it just needs a battery. I don't know, I just think that it's kind of different. Mm. So we're gonna get that. Look, the Pop and Hoppies game. It's $2. It's kind of cool. It's made by Ideal. What in the world is that noise? Fact Finder, teaching matching game. I wanna say I remember this, the ultimate search game, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, the new magnetic quiz game. It's the wise old owl. Here, will you? can you lift up that? Look at that graphic on that. It's $2. No wires, no batteries. It's a, like the magic electricity game. Mm. What in the world? Oh, wow. So, can you come out, Mr. Owl? Does it go in here? Questions. What are these? Oh, my gosh. Get out, Mr. Owl. Oh, wait, he's got wire. Oh, wait, my. how does this do? Oh, do you put him there? Wait. Prince Albert was proposed to by um, Elizabeth Barrett. I don't know who these people are. I know Ellen. She had a show. <laughs> Queen Victoria. Show. She's Lord Nelson. Adonis. K. 
Catherine. Oh, so so these are the answers. These are the questions. Oh. It tell it gives you the directions right here. Oh, look, 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 look. They come yeah, up. there's more. It's Matt. Remove the owl from its position. Place the owl in the plastic cup with the question side of the game. Make sure that the projection of the base owl fits into. Okay, we did that. Turn the owl so that the magic pointer is aimed at the center of any question you wish to have answered. Lift the owl from the plastic cup and set it on the magic circle in the center of the... Okay, the owl will spin and point to the correct answer. How? Does this spin magically somehow? Be sure that the game will work properly. Does it need electricity? I don't know, but it's two dollars. I'm buying it. Because look at the graphic on this. Does look at that. You need? The wise old owl. Mm -hmm. Who, what, why, where, which, when, how? Look at that moon. I like that. No wires, no batteries, or parts to replace. It's done with magnetism, Jeffrey. Wow. The patent is pending. I didn't think that this is cool. I just, nobody else probably will like it. How does it, it work, though? I don't know. We'll have Mark figure it out. He's good at figuring it out. But hang on. I want to look at these other games because they're, they're clearance games. Mm -hmm. Beat Detroit. I don't know about I that. Think Detroit's beat. The super game box. Look, it's complete. Look at the little wooden dice. It's a dollar. Jeffrey's like, oh, whatever. Here's the 64,000 quiz question quiz game. Look at him. Revlon. Look, it's sponsored by Revlon. I bet this will be on I Love Lucy. What? Sponsored by Revlon. What do you mean you think it's on like I Love Lucy? like she did like these like or sponsored by she... Philip Morris. Oh yeah yeah. Look, it's like Forbes Field is the ballpark of what major league baseball team? It's like Jeopardy kind of. But and you put your little slats in here. How much is that? I'm not gonna get that one, but it's two dollars. And then TV football. Look at these guys. He's like, I don't know, Fred. I think you're wrong. Look at that. He's like, I'm right. <laughs> I'm right. No, I don't know about that, Fred. <laughs> you play it right along with the game on TV. Oh, it's Coleco. I had a Coleco. And then, oh, look, there's Dolly Parton. Okay, so Goldie, what's, what's, what's this one? What's this game? I'm in. I'm. I'm invested I am now. So over there. I'm invested, Jeffrey. I'm going around the world in 80 days. Game. Fact Finder. Jeffrey's like, bye. Bet a million. I mean, look at this. This stuff is just fun. We don't want the teaching machine because that's probably mathy. The summit. Look at that. Break the bank. Be a millionaire. This one's three. Look at that. It's got the little felt thing and the little roulette wheel. Oh my gosh. Favorite games of chance. Oh my gosh, I like this. Showdown poker. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's got the Hollywood Squares game with Peter Marshall. This is $2. Oh, yeah. It's still wrapped. Okay, I'm getting that. That's going to be played. But I'm going to get the Wise Owl and definitely Hollywood Squares. Hi, Robin. Holy cow. They sell vinyl records here. They sure do. But I, here's Dolly Parton for a dollar. The Muppets. These Saturday evening posts, I don't know. I don't think they're worth much of anything. There's Bob Hope. Who are you? Mary Kay. Okay. I'm going to get those games, though, because I, I like them. I think they're cool. Jeffrey took my cart. He's already gone through everything, but he misses things because he goes really fast. Like this Santa. It's not for sale. <laughs> well, maybe he didn't miss that. These little guys here, those are Shawnee. They're 24. But I don't know. I've bought things in this little booth here. It's 20% off of everything. Look at this. Star Frontier Alpha Dawn. It's another game. It's $4. The Skeleton Book. Hot Rod. Oh, I just like stuff like that. I want to pick up something that Jeffrey missed. Like Amish Lady. He missed her. These little bags are pretty good. $42. Oh, I just sold. It's not for sale, though. Never mind. Never mind. They just, you're using it for decoration, apparently. Oh, hi, baby. Are you for sale? Probably. If you are composite, you're in really good condition. 
$27, but yeah, you're in pretty good condition, baby. Oh my goodness, look what I just found. It's mama and baby beans in its original box. Mama and baby beans. It is $20, it's $19, but oh my God. So lovable, posable, mama and baby beans. Oh, I wish it was like a different color besides the brown one though. I don't think I'm gonna get you mama and baby beans, but you're awfully cute, but I wish you were a different color. This is pretty though. This green candy dish. That's really pretty. It's 8.50. I skipped a couple aisles. Now I'm ahead of Jeffrey. I'll have to backtrack, but but now we're ahead. Well, look at you, little. But he'll 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 pass me again here in a moment because I'm really slow when I shop very slow. I like to look at everything. Oh, I love Hallmark ornaments. Baby's first Christmas. There. And I want to go, there's a booth. I can't like get through very well because that's in the way. But I wanted to go over here and look at this. And let's see, What do you do anything, sir? To town. You got glasses on. Okay, that's all we can do. We don't want to get in trouble by, by Google. Oh, are you? Do you <laughs> Duck Dynasty. Oh, Duck, Duck, oh, here's. Okay, that's all we can do with that. We don't want to be in trouble. There's a basket consultant plaque there. You have to get in here and you kind of have to look at everything. Oh, they look at the little Raggedy Ann and Andy for Christmas for $10 each. And it's kind of hard to get through in some of these little areas. Look at the little wiener dog trophy. Dachshund dog trophy. For $12. Oh, look at you, Angel. You're a dollar three. You're a little bell. Someone's painted you. Beauty school dropout. Go back to high school. Doesn't she look like Frenchie from Greece? That's pretty. I think this might be a greeting card that someone has framed. It's a, also a dollar and two cents. Oh, here we got a little Shawnee Pixie for twelve fifty. Nice little springy one though with those colors on it. Look, looky here, Charles's Royal Adventurer, ten dollars. Oh, look at you, Charles. I mean, kind of like you with a beard, Charles. I think you should grow, I mean, you were much younger then. Maybe you should grow your beard back, Charles. Oh, I see a little. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's gonna be more than what I wanna spend, but it is a head, lady head vase, $36. This is pretty, she's missing her earring, but oh, and she's got a booba right there. This is Son of a Witch, volume two in the Wicked Years. St. Clair paperweight for 30. I did just get several paperweights at an auction. Little, oh, a little piece of Viking for 1650. Little ruby red piece of Viking with the pink sticker. That's nice. This is uranium glass. It's $40. And a little piece of Fenton silver crest for 1650. Oh, we've got some Jeanette lids. They're missing their bottoms. Uh, $4 for the lid fountain syringe. A little piece of goofus glass for $5.25. All right, there's my cart. Let's go down this aisle now. Oh, we got big Raggedy Ann and Andy down there. Oh, this is a nice little mayonnaise bowl here. It's six dollars. It does have the spoon, which you don't often see. A little blue bowl there, six dollars. Oh, Oh, Raggedy Andy, I about knocked you over. No clowns. These are nice, $25 for those. Mm, got some rolling pins that are, well, that one, I don't know if those are old. Oh my gosh, one day again, I want to have another concrete goose. I used to have them, but look at all the little clothes. She can be Mrs. Claus, a hat with braids. Got all kinds of fun stuff for your little gooses. But this, look, look at these little ceramic pieces. We've got Elvis, he's 10.95. And then 
I saw the mermaids. Ten ninety five for the mermaids. Uh, Betty Boop. And then they got the blanks here too, but one day again I will have another concrete goose on my porch. Oh here's a beautiful piece of case glass. I think this is Fenton. $29.50. A Fenton satin cranberry. That's beautiful. $29. It's not a bad price. Yeah. This little Fenton $10. Little Humpty Dumpty repro down there. Some crystal. Oh, we don't want to do that too much. We don't knock it over. A little bunny planter. That's different. That's American bisque. It's nine dollars and fifty cents. That'd be great for Easter. I just don't want to. I don't want to store it right now. Oh, I see a. Uh, I think it's a country fair, animal fair thing. I'm gonna look at it in just a moment. I did just get a couple more of these. I have this exact same one. This one is nine dollars. They are German. The paint on this one is pretty. I think it's animal fair, country fair. They're made in Germany little whole toothpick holder or little planter there this one's the it's nine dollars and fifty cents with the paint the one i have the paint is much better so oh look at look at the little, the little these are these are not old but look they're kissing and then look at the little dutch these are a nesco they are four dollars and look at the little owls there and then we've got a little pie bird. I don't think that that is vintage, though. It's a cute little little um, glass butterfly. I'm looking over here. What is this? A Raya dragon. Oh, I like you. You're like a little Frankenstein monster. Oh, gosh, we've got all kinds of little, little critters over here. Dwight Schrute that you can paint yourself for $6.00. Oh, I love looking at these little figurines. What are you? A little LOL doll? I don't think, I mean, these are probably pretty collectible, like the little people stuff, but I don't care for that little people stuff. I like the stuff that I had when I was little. We've got some Build-A-Bear shoes, got some Hot Wheels, but I'll leave that up to Mark. Who are you? Big, big guy. What are you doing, little fella? playing your little violin. She's cute. She's $3.95, I think. Um, yeah, she's just marked Japan, but she's got her little chickies. That's adorable. She's cute. Look at there. There's little pants made out of washcloths. Don't get excited. Don't get misled. These aren't for you, but your dishes instead. Take out the bows, pull out the stitches. You gain two dishcloths, but you lose your britches. That's pretty cute. Oh man, rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. There's a Kenny Rogers ornament. Oh my gosh, I had that and there's a whole little set. All these little pieces go on there. Uh, a little Hallmark set there. Here's some glass. Let's see what the prices are on here. $25, that's beautiful. It's a big thing to ship though. Got a little piece of amber. Um, I don't know Ooh, look at that, but you're... I thought yeah, I got excited there for a minute. Most purple birds are flashed. It's I don't know that I have ever found one that's not been a purple bird that's flashed. A little piece of Fenton slag. This aqua is pretty though. It's eight dollars. That is really pretty for eight dollars. I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at everything first before we make any rash decisions. Got lots of glass here. This little piece of, I think, probably rainbow glass. Ooh, the purple is pretty. The cream and sugar. Mulberry creamer. It's $10, so they're pricing them individually. $10 each. This little Fenton bowl is nice, too. It's $25. And I've sold this before. Ten dollars. I want to say it's Indiana Glass made this. It's a really pretty color. I've sold that. I, th I think a couple times. These might be Fostoria here. Candle wick. Two dollars each. They'd actually be really cute as little candle holders as well. Uh, let's see. A little Murano. 
art glass piece. Well, I say Murano. I'm not sure that it is Murano, but it's pretty. That aqua collar, it is hand blown. Oh, they can, I'm like, I keep hearing water. Yeah, it's like going in that bucket. Uh, a little piece of Kimble, that amber glass back here, that is Kimble. Um, Ellie Smith. This little jack in the pulpit, it's frosted glass. I think it's a modern piece though. It's $12. We got some blow molds, those are fun. $40 each on the candles. These are newer. This big Santa is $100. He's in really nice shape, though. I mean, what is going on here with you? Is that Dolly Parton? Ronald A. Lee from the studio is a California. Gold plate plated, hand painted. $30 for the busty clown. She is, too, and she's heavy. My word. Dolly Parton clown there. Um, oh, this is a good glass. You're a Lucite. Oh, is it like a little game? Poker shaker. Kind of fun. It's 15. A little bullfighter tray. Vintage hand painted the bullfighter. $50. Okay. Very mid century modern. Oh, my word. I mean, why? Yikes. And look at this little boy. He's peeing in that pond. That frog is appalled at that little boy. Well, guys, that's it for treasures here in Mooresville, Indiana. I got uh, quite a few things. Most everything that I got, um, you did see me pick up. I did pick up a little Russian Santa for a couple dollars and a little miniature dream interpretation book. That is an antique dreams book. Thank you guys so much for going shopping with me. It's a little noisy out here. We're right off of the highway. Thank you guys so much for shopping with me. If there's anything that you might be interested in, send me an email, thriftyjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. If you are new to my channel, thank you for watching. I hope that you can will subscribe, leave a comment on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some charmer, yes, indeed. You say that I should be in the folly. Hot tamales to say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Spain valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town. And unless I miss my guess, the boys will follow me around. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a ball, hit a man, put his hair in the